Oh my goodness. Got another big in there. How's it going today everyone? Creek Crawler here. I'm in Southeast Ohio. Back home on the Hocking River. And today I'm gonna do a little how-to on catching cold water smallies. We're approaching winter time. It's late fall. It shouldn't be late fall, but you got water temps up in the high 40s. But fish are still active and they're feeding up for the winter. They're gorging themselves. And the method I like to use when they're being very, very picky, very, very, well, they're not necessarily being picky. They're, they're hungry, but you gotta present it very slow from my experience. So what we're gonna do, be doing today in the river is throwing the Helgramite and fishing as slow as possible. In most cases, these fish will hit that Helgramite. As soon as it hits the bottom, they'll come over, check it out, slurp it up, and they'll sit there. They won't really typically run like they do in the summertime and the springtime. Once they sit there and eat that Helgramite, they'll just sit there with it and you kind of lean into them, hook them, and bring them to the boat. But yeah, we're going to do some late fall fishing here on the Hocking River. This might even be my last kayak trip of the year, which is a bummer because I was looking forward to a couple more weeks, maybe in early November. But yeah, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful fall day. It's going to be in the 70s today. I don't think we're going to get any warm days like this the rest of the year. So I'm going to take advantage of it, doing a float here on the Hocking River. Stay tuned for the action. Let's see if we can't catch a fish today, guys. Let's go. All right, let's go over the gear I'll be using. I got my 610 medium extra fast evergreen combat stick paired up with 2500 Daiwa Kage. Spooled up in 10 pound braid. And I'm kind of going to a heavier leader. I got a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader tied up to my obsidian Helgramite on the VMC Rugby EWG jig head. Awesome, eighth ounce, dragging it slow. The Hocking River isn't terribly fast where I'm fishing the current, but the key is just fishing slow. So we're gonna fish really slow. The water's cold, it's, I think it's below 50 degrees, so. Patience is key, and these fish are feeding up, so we should have some luck today. There we go. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Chill out, buddy. Not a big one, not a giant, but a start to the day, nonetheless. Heck yeah. Probably like 11 and a half, 11 three quarter. There you go, buddy. There we go. That feels like a good fish. Jeez, he's pulling me all over the river. Ugh. Nice small mouth, nice small mouth. Oh my goodness. About to go into a tree. Freaking chunk. Just drifting it through this riffle right here. Wow. That is a beast. Check out the, <laughs> that football. <laughs> Look at the belly on that. That right there is an awesome, awesome fish. Throwing obsidian Helgramite. I literally just let it sit there. You seen it? I just didn't even move it. I just reeled down and the fish was on. What a bruiser, man. That fish is every bit of a pound and a half. Here you go, buddy. They're pretty cold, but they're still biting. Juvenile bald eagle. He just landed back there. What? That's awesome. That's a 
nice fish. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Heck yeah. This water is freezing cold. And these smallies are still, still chomping and spotted bass. Let's take a look at this one. Oh yeah, it's a decent, decent fish. Heck yeah. Hey, I'll take 14 inches all day long. Look, and they're just like, it's pretty far down there. <laughs> like if you look, like they're getting the hook all the way back past their eye. Another healthy, beautiful river smallie. Heck yeah, buddy. Thanks for playing. Nice chunky, dude. There you go. There we go. That's a big one. Oh my goodness. I just got a freaking giant. Well, the hooker might popped out, but look at that. He's got all oh, his fins in his gill. That is an awesome, awesome smallmouth. Let's get a measurement on this one real quick. He might be 16 or something. Yeah. Awesome fish. Got 16 and a half incher. I'll take this all day long. What a bruiser, man. Thanks for the fight, buddy. There he goes. Let's freaking go. Just drifting this Helgramite. I am being so slow and so like, I don't know what to call it, but I'm just kind of casting it and just letting it sit down on the bottom. And they're coming up and eating it and like I'll reel down and there'll be pressure. You just lay the hook into them and they got it halfway down their throat. Heck yeah, let's keep it going. I also want to give a huge shout out to Joe for making me this awesome logo. Got some stickers made up. I might be uh, selling them here soon once I get everything set up, but comment down below if you'd be interested in some creek crawler stickers for your kayaks. Those are awesome stickers that got made. They're waterproof, they stick on your kayak and last forever. So if you'd like any, any uh, creek crawler stickers, just comment down below and I'll see if I can set something up. Another one. It's another good, decent fish too. Man, they're just choking this thing. Just oh, <laughs> played too much with him. Played too much with him. He looked like a 13, 14 incher. Man, these fish are biting, but you gotta fish very slow. And if you've noticed throughout this video. I've been casting my Helgramite down. I'll set it, I'll just let it sit on the bottom. I'll make a couple strokes upstream paddling or I'll be messing with my with my uh, drag and they're gonna, they're picking it up as it's just sitting there. So I'm literally just dead sticking this bait and getting bit today. I think as the sun approaches the middle of the day, I think the bite's gonna get even hotter than what it has been already. It's gonna be in the mid 70s, beautiful day. Just scoping around, looking for spots. Oh my goodness. Got another big one. Come here, buddy. Oh, let's freaking go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
This is a nice fish. Got another stud. Check that out. That is an awesome Hawking River Smalley right there. Look at the scenery. Can't get much better than that. Let's measure this one up, see how big he is. I'll probably be. Let's see. He's very tall. Fifteen three quarter inches. Almost a sixteen incher. Man, they fight so hard. Look how thick. I knew this bite was going to get better as soon as that sun got up up there. All right, let's let this beast go. Another fish, just under 16 inches. There it goes. Heck yeah. There we go. Another nice fish. Nice. <laughs> this is awesome. This day is unreal. Look at that. That's a 14, all day. Thanks for the fight, buddy. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm standing up and finding these deeper pockets with some structure. Like there's some railroad ties it looks like, like an old bridge used to be here, but it's really deep and I've pulled three fish out of this little hole and I pulled that bigger fish just upstream of that. So this entire spot right here is just, it looks to be about four and a half, five feet deep. And yeah, that's was the ticket for this Helgramite. Just letting it sit down there, drifting it really slow. So look for the deeper pockets and just concentrate your energy on the deeper areas, the high percentage areas. There we go. Oh, it's a chunky fish. Oh, heck yeah. Here you go, buddy. What the heck? Dude, this is a giant big old crappie. What? It's one of the cool ones with the stripe on his head. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going to end it here on the Hawking River in the fall. Water temps just below 50 degrees, and we absolutely put the work on them today. It was incredible. It was incredible. As soon as the sun came out and the water warmed up just a tad bit, those fish really got moving, and I started like hammering fish. Like they were stacked up in some of these areas on the river. It was just an incredible day, an awesome fall fishing day. And this is what the fall is all about. You can go out and absolutely can get in some amazing amazing fish 
And the key points to take away is find some deep, deep holes, find some cover around those deep areas because that's where those fish are going to relate to, especially just kind of hanging out near the bottom because that's what they're doing. They're just kind of laying dormant. They're letting that current flow by them and they're just kind of picking stuff off as it goes downstream and they're not putting a lot of effort into it. And if you've noticed in most of my catches today, I would cast my Helgramite into a high percentage area, let it sit there, play with my drag, do something and just kind of let it sit there. And then as soon as I would reel down to my Helgramite, a smallmouth had picked it up and I would hook set it, just kind of lean into them and bring in some awesome fish on the kayak today. And this is probably one of the last kayak fishing days of the year. To be honest, I don't see any safe weather coming up forward. My last float of the year. And you couldn't ask for much more. Coming down to the Hocking River and hammering some absolute bruiser smallies. Man, they are putting on the feed bag and put up some awesome fights. Awesome fights. Couldn't ask for much more. Before I leave today, I want to thank everybody for supporting my channel, supporting me and my YouTube adventures. I do this for fun. It's a hobby. I enjoy doing it. I love teaching people. And I hope that I put some content out on my channel this year that helped you all get into some awesome fish. Because it was a fantastic year for me. I absolutely had a blast this year. And I'm looking forward to next. And I'll, I'll be going to all the fishing expos this year for sure. I look forward to the expos going out and seeing all, all kinds of gear, supporting local companies. If you'd like to grab some Helgramites or some Six Sense baits, or any rod, reels, lines, lures, you go to vanceoutdoors.com and use code CRAWLER15 to save 15% off your entire order. That's a huge amount of savings and it supports a local business. And they're very gracious. They're very, very nice to give us that code for my subscribers and my viewers. If you'd like to grab some waterlands, these are another key factor today, being able to target that deeper structure that I couldn't see, you can't see without polarized lenses. Some of this structure that I was targeting today is three, four feet underwater. And being able to penetrate the sun glare and being able to cast in those areas that are gonna hold fish is absolutely vital, especially in the fall. When those fish are kind of just chilling and hanging out, they're not chasing too much. Yeah, we're gonna call it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go!